This is Paul CNTZ in the studio, and I wanted to share this audio with you on its own. This is CD number one of the two CD set for the guided meditation that I released a few months ago titled Money Manifest. And that audio has already received hundreds of thousands of views and countless positive testimonials from people all over the world. And this audio on its own is a powerful training and clarification on the subject of money, what money is, what vibration it has, and how to dial into it if that is something that you desire. And we talk about the things that you must fully understand about money if you want to attract more of it into your life. You see, money is its own vibration and money has its own intention. And I want you to know that I get pretty passionate on this audio and I say things that may shake up how you feel about yourself and about money. In other words, I get loud, folks. I get real loud and real passionate. And some people have said, why are you shouting at me on this audio, Paul? Why are you shouting at me about money? And my answer is, I'm not shouting at you. I am making you feel something. I am pulling you out of your comfort zone. I am shaking up your vibration on purpose with crystal clear positive intentions. Because let's face it, it would be easier if I didn't care about others as much as I do. And the fact is that the majority of people have beliefs about money that actually pushes it away and keeps money from being able to flow through them energetically. And they're not even aware of it. The good news is this audio clarifies the differences. And it was also important that the information I share in this audio not only be heard, but felt. It was important that this audio's training reveal the truth about money, in my opinion, that not too many others even know about, never mind openly share like I do. Remember, The only way things in life will change is if you change the things that you do with your life. And how you think and feel about money is at the top of the list when it comes to wanting more of it. So with that said, enjoy this audio, enjoy the eye-opening experience, and comment away after listening. Comment, 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 comment away in May. You never be the same. You know I love you. This is Paul Santizzi in the studio. If you want things to change, you must change what you do with your life. And how you think and feel is the number one factor when it comes to attracting whatever it is that you desire in life. Now, the reason... I am creating this audio is it is in response to many of you asking for an audio on money, how to attract money and so on. I can assure you that this audio is a game changer. This audio is unlike any other audio ever created on money. There is language patterns that are being used. There is a crystal clear positive intention behind this audio. This audio is simply a magical tool that will move heaven and earth in unlimited ways to yield to you, the listener, anything and everything that you desire to feel and experience in your life. Yes, folks, it is that powerful. This is an energetic, vibration-raising, soul-expanding, wants and desires audio that will have you open to receive all that you want in life. This audio will shock many of you on how fast, how amazingly fast 
positive things begin to manifest into your life. Are you ready? I mean, are you ready? Okay, let's jump right into this. Now, let's start with the basics first. Number one, money does not make you happy. Money does not make you happy. Did you hear what I said? Money does not make you happy. Money does make it easier. Yes. But happiness, how you feel today, tomorrow, and in this moment does not require money. Yes, money does take the edge off of financial pressure. Sure. But that's all it does. It, it has nothing to do with making you happy. Next, attracting money and being a positive person are two different vibrations, two different commands, two different frequencies to the universe. You see, most of you think that you have to be positive in order to attract money. No, 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 no. They are their own intentions and vibrations. Now, they do work together with the right application of principles with intention. Yes, but they are different vibrations and commands. And I'll explain more. You see, materialistic things that money buys or anything materialistic is a very low vibration. The only reason we think of it as a high vibration is because it takes a lot of money to buy expensive things. So anything materialistic, now that you know, anything materialistic is a very low vibration. Remember, money and anything that it buys and what it costs is 100% made up by man anyway. So at the end of the day, it does not mean anything. Because you have everything within you right now to feel beyond blissful and amazingly happy. So the first concept to process is that money does not make you happy. So if you think that you need money to be happy, then you have been 100% misled up to this point in your life. Because the truth is that expensive things or materialistic items are a very low vibration because at the end of the day, like we said, they do not mean anything. They don't mean anything to anyone except the value that we as beings put on something. Does that make sense? Next. Now, since materialistic things are a low vibration, money is a materialistic thing as well. So money itself is also a very low vibration. Okay. And there are two ways to attract money into your life. One way is to pull from the dark side or negative side of energy. What that means is that you will trample, burn, and bury, crush, destroy anyone that tries to get in your way and you feel joy watching other people suffer as long as in the end, you're the one who makes that buck. And when you use this side of the scale to make money, you must love money and use people to make you money. Did you follow that? Because if you love money and that's all you want is money and you will bury, burn, crash and destroy people to get your money. Okay you will attain all of your materialistic desires, the lifestyle, the luxuries, the materialistic things. But 
your soul, your soul will be left empty. And you will never feel satisfied, but you'll have a bunch of stuff. And I'm not going to go too far down this topic here, but this gives you something to look at in a new light. And the dark side, this is what nobody ever talks about in all the books and the audios when it comes to attracting money into your life. There are two sides to pull from. Myself, in this audio's intention, is to connect with the love side of the scale. And while you manifest money into your life, pulling from the love side, you'll be full of love, happiness, satisfaction, appreciation, and joy. And I'm telling you, this side feels much, much better. You can trust me on that. Again, folks, you know me by now. And I do not sugarcoat anything. I tell you how it is, and this is how it is. If you are serious about changing your financial situation, if you are at the point in life where you are ready to provide and take responsibility for yourself, if you are ready to create the life that you desire and you look forward to always having money in your pocket, and being able to pay for what you want whenever you want, while feeling and emanating pure love, gratitude, enthusiasm, and enjoying life to the fullest, by providing service to society that generates feelings of joy and self-acceptance, then you will like, you will really, really, really like what I'm about to share with you. Now, for those of you like myself that do not desire to pull from the dark side, we'll call it, and you still desire to achieve your goals and dreams, here are the secrets. Are you ready? Pay attention. It is so simple, but yet it is hidden in plain sight. People spend a lifetime trying to figure this out. Are you ready? Here's the secret. Love people, and use money. Ah, now we're talking. Love people first and use money. Oh, this is getting good. Remember, there are two sides of energy to pull from. Now, let's talk about how you attract money into your vibration while pulling from this positive, productive, and pleasurable side of the scale. Now, when you love people, when you love people, you create more value than what you ask for in exchange. I'll say it again. When you love people, you create more value than what you ask for in exchange. And I'm speaking from experience with this. And I am a product of this statement. As of creating this audio, I openly share for free with the world. Right now, there is over 170 hours of audios, videos, and guided meditations. You see, I create more value than what I ask for in exchange. Now, I'm not saying that you all have to do what I do. I'm just sharing with you how I personally apply the above statement. Create more value than what you ask for in exchange. Then the magic is by engaging in this activity, you can then use money to help yourself and to help more people. Do you see the difference? Do you see the difference? Loving people first and using money. Now that is the key. Not using people to make you money. Do you see the difference here? Because this is it. So now I want you to really grasp that no matter what you want or 
how much you're being told it costs. Whether it's you wanting to manifest new clothes, to pay your bills, maybe you want to be debt free, maybe a new car, a new home, a new cell phone, maybe it's that boat, the motorcycle, some jewelry, go out to eat whenever you want at your favorite restaurants, whatever it is, it doesn't matter what it is, okay? Now, pay attention to this. Now, let's take the needing someone to do it for you so you can make the money attitude, okay? So now let's take the needing someone to do it for you so you can make the money attitude and let's replace this garbage belief because it's a garbage belief. It's a parasitical belief, okay? So let's replace that with this. I don't need anyone but myself. And the universe will hand deliver to me everything that I ask for and desire because I will always get more of how I feel. So now you can switch your focus to helping other people get more of what they want. That in turn will cause you to feel better and better all the time. Then you can ask for anything that you want and the universe will hand deliver it all right to you and it will deliver it in exact proportion to how you are feeling. How you feel is the key. When you think about a new project or activity that will propel you forward towards your goal or objective, how do you feel? When you feel good engaging in this activity, you will feel better and better. Therefore, the universe will bring to you more people, situations, circumstances, and events that will line up all of your desires in the perfect order for when you are ready to experience the tangible results of what money buys. Did you follow that? Go back and listen to that again. Listen to it a hundred times. So, with that said, it's perfectly fine to want all the money that there is in the world. There is nothing wrong with wanting money. I would strongly suggest and recommend that you pull from the side of loving people first in using money versus loving money in using people. And, and again, this, this decision is 100% up to you. Okay? My intention is set to the loving side in creating this audio. Now, one last technique to consider. This is the most important. In order to attract money into and through your vibration, let me ask you a question. What is the number one rule in wanting money? What is the number one rule in wanting money? Do you know the answer? Do you have to think about it? Is it a part of who you are? Is the answer a part of your vibration? Or are you sitting here listening to this audio going, ah, I think I know. I think I may have heard it. Did I read that somewhere? Listen, listen. This is why so many of you are broke, okay? Because you don't know the answer. And this is why you will always be broke, Pay attention to this. Here is the answer. Here is the answer to the question. And once you know the answer, once you have what I'm about to say, and it becomes part of your knowledge bank, your vibration is instantly going to shift to your advantage. Let me ask you again. What is the number one rule in wanting money? Answer. You must want money. You must want money. You're welcome. I love you too. Listen, most of you wish you had money. Most of you wonder, will I ever have any money? Most of you hope that someday I'll be rich. Someday. Hoping, wondering, and wishing 
pushes away money from your vibration because you're focused on the lack of not having it. There is uncertainty. There is doubt. And you waste your time. You waste your life. Many of you, decades you've wasted trying to figure out how to get the money, which sends you spiraling backwards, it screws up your vibration, and it just keeps pushing it away, and it's so far out of reach, give up. But now you have this knowledge. So let's keep applying this, okay? You know, so many of you have this concept of money and how to attract it so ass backwards. No wonder you think money is hard to attract because your attitude needs some redirecting. Hey, my money magnet. You have to really go back and re reamplify your vibration with, with more knowledge and knowingness and get rid of the resistance to allow the flow of money to flow in and trap. Man. Come on, I'm telling you, I'm telling you how it is. And it would be easier if I didn't care so much. But you know what? I do care. And I know this audio is what many of you, if not all of you, need to hear right now. This material is providing you with so much, so many new understandings and perspectives on this whole money thing. And I know that many of you are going to start attracting so much money into your life that it's going to blow your mind. So if you want money, if you really, 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 really want money, I'm telling you, it's okay. You must want money. You must want money and be obsessed with attaining it. Obsessed. What does that mean? Obsessed means that you think about money all the time, that you think about what you will do with it once it comes in. You fall asleep with excitement in knowing that it's coming. You awake with purpose and drive and engage in feel-good actions during the day that will create results. This is how you start to take control over your vibration this is how you start to attract and allow money to flow through you. Is any of this sinking in? Because it works. Next. Then you need to have a number. And the number needs to be big enough to excite you and small enough that you believe that you can get it. So if your number is, for an example, $10,000 per month, and you feel bad when you think about it, bring that number down to a number that feels good to you and start there. It does not matter what this number is. It's irrelevant. The key is that the number must be big enough to excite you, but small enough where you can believe that you can achieve it. Because once you get there, and you will, you will see further. You see, you always want to set yourself up for success. You always want to write the rules so you always win. If your goal is $10,000 per month and you make you bring in 9,990, well you failed. If your goal is just to make more money than you have in your pocket right now, then you're always going to be self-perpetuating success. Did you follow that? Now, we just scratched the surface on this money thing. And I'm confident that we laid a new, stronger foundation that we can all build from. Wouldn't you agree? We talked about fresh perspectives. We shared some new understandings on how to attract this money thing, this man made up money thing. And what we talked about provided you the proven recipe that once you apply this in your life, the results are going to leave you speechless. It's that simple. Okay. Now I want to share with you one of this and this is what 
this is what makes it all flow. I've mentioned in this audio, you need to do these steps to allow money to flow in and through you. This is the specific technique that you need to apply to everything we talked about in this audio. After you know what you want, you must write down exactly what you want and what it will cost to the penny. This exercise clarifies your desires. This this does something magical to your vibration. This is what the law of attraction responds to, okay? I'm telling you, do not skip this step. Take the time and write it all down and be accurate to the penny, okay? Your list can change as life goes on, but make that list now and break it down to the penny so you know exactly how much money you need to get going, okay? Now, the next magical element to making this work incredibly fast is that you must be willing to give it all up. You must be willing to give up all your stuff. (laughs) Wait, 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 what? Whoa, what? Paul, what are you doing to me? So you're telling me you want me to do all these things, all these techniques. You want me to do all these things to clarify what I want, why I want it, and know to the penny what it will cost. Now you want me to be willing to give it all up before I even get started? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Again, this is the magic ingredient. This is the steps that nobody else talks about. This is what people keep secret. So they're the one reaping the benefit, not everyone else. This is how they dangle the carrot in front of your face, keeping you running back to years and years and years worth of bogus seminars, buying more and more books, wasting all your money, keeping your job, going from job to job, and staying broke. The key, the magic, is you must be willing to give up all your stuff. And I'm not going to go into super detail about this because it will take a while, but just follow along and do what I'm telling you because this is it. This is the secret stuff, okay? Example, you buy a brand new Mercedes. Five hours later, it burns to the ground. How do you feel? The key is to be 100% fine with the car burning to the ground and letting it go. You see, when we are able, when you are able to generate your goals and dreams backed with a burning desire for its attainment, meaning that's what you think about all the time. And when you think about it, you feel real good. You get excited. You can smell it, taste it. It's yours, baby. It's yours. Okay. This generates the feelings of already received. This will make you feel as if you already have it. Then in that moment, let it go and don't care that you don't got it. This will cause what you desire to come your way automatically at such a fast rate of speed that it will blow your mind because you're letting go of any resistance. You're letting go of anything, any energy or any doubt that would be holding you back. Ah, yes. The magic in creating more and more stuff. Once you get it, you must be willing to let it go. No strings or emotions attached. Do you see this? This will allow more and more stuff to come into your experience. This is it. This is how you get more and more and more and more stuff. When you're willing to let it go, you are free. There is no resistance. There is nothing you holding you back from manifesting more and more and more. This is it. Folks, it has nothing to do with your education, your age, how many diplomas or certifications you have. Not a damn thing to do with any of that. You see, having a high willingness to learn and a high willingness to accept change and applying these principles is the secret. 
I know this is stuff or this material. Some of you have maybe, you've heard something similar, but you've never heard it presented in a way like this before. This is the recipe. This is the secret. Thinking from these perspectives will open the floodgates of prosperity to those of you who pay attention and apply what we just discussed. Subconscious mind in every cell in your body is about to resonate, vibrate, attract, and amplify in ways that you have never experienced. With that said, let's end this audio here. This is Paul Santisi in the studio. I thank you for listening. You know I love ya.